question number 2a, one of the products that results when one bromo 2,2-dimethyl cyclopentane is heated in ethanol is shown below. So the question asks us to give the stepwise mechanism by which it is formed. So firstly, we need to convert this sentence into, uh, into a graphical presentation. So um, this is the... Where? Okay, so this is the uh, products, and then mm, we need to first draw the structure of one bromo to two dimethyl cyclopentane, and then this is this our structure. So this structure will react with the ethanol. So ethanol is a type of uh, polar protic solvent and it is also known as weak base okay after you understand the flow uh, we can now uh, uh, draw the mechanisms or give the stepwise, mecha stepwise mechanism so before we proceed we need to uh, also know uh, what is the uh, type of the reaction so it is E1 mechanism, okay, E1 mechanism, and then we need to understand what is uh, what is the means of, the meaning of the stepwise reaction. Stepwise reaction, also known as um, uh, stepwise reaction, is a a reaction with more than one step, more than one step, okay. So in E1 reaction, it involves two important steps. First one, it involves the formation of carbocation, and the second one uh, involves the removal of proton, which is our hydrogen atoms. Okay, so we can now uh, start uh, doing our mechanism. So in the step one, the formation of carbocation. In the step um the things that occur is um our bromine our halide ion will um will live as the living groups why it lives as the living group because the f the bones here the bones here is break is breaking and all the atoms is gained by our halide ion, which is bromine in this case, and it takes this bond as lone pair. Okay. So because of that, the charge is negative here. And then our carbo carbocation is formed, and the type of carbocation, the carbocation here is a secondary carbocation. And then we need to consider rearrangement also. We can uh, rearrange the methyl from this uh, carbon to, ca our, to our uh, adjacent carbon, which is uh, carbocation. And then we will get a uh, tertiary carbocation here, which is more stable. And then um, uh, our the sherry carbocation we undergo the third uh, uh the, sorry the second step which is uh, the removal of proton also the removal of hydrogen atoms so the hydrogen atom in step two will be taken by uh oxygens the lone pair of oxygens there are two lone pairs of oxygens in the neutral state and one of uh the lone pairs we take the hydrogen atom as the uh, Will they will form a new bond? The lone pair will form a bond with hydrogen atom. And so this is uh, ethanol. Our base will remove the proton, this proton, and take it as um, as a hydrogen atom. Will form the new bond with it. And then uh, the the bonds between hydrogen atom and carbon atom will broken. We broke and and uh, 
the bonds here is broken and it will uh, transfer the bonds from here into the carbocation ion so our carbocation ion now uh, have enough bond which is sp3 or having for surrounding atoms and because of that we will form a new a new uh, pi bond which is our products uh, alkene okay alkene so this is the final products this is our major product and this is the um, this is our side products okay that's all for this video if you have any questions can leave it in the comment sections thank you for watching